So now the match between Spat versus Jake. And Jake has a little Amogus uh, figure on the left corner. He plays it just for Dofi here. Oh, he's going for quick dragons, I guess. Because he's placing down 15 rooms. So we see more proficient uh, gameplay right there. Love to see it. Still, um, oh, he wants to help his imps out to get the port a little bit quicker. He needs a 5x5 uh, wolf though. If he wants to get dragons. Otherwise, he will get a beetle or a fly. Depending uh, how much the RNG just loves him. And Jake got a flyer just right now, placing down a 3x3 three three layer, which means he can now attract beetles. And no vault, that means no uh, demon spawns, but he might get a warlock. Meanwhile, spat either the beetle or the flyer, we don't know yet. Oh, he actually wants to get uh, early ball demons. And so spat just got a warlock and now mining some gold which screws with his dungeon design uh, yeah but what do you want to do it's just how it is on this map if you don't um, plan out your dungeon it will look quite uh, quite screwed spat i think he wants to get spiders and beetles no dragon so far and jake going for those warlocks and spiders Though I think he should start to get some some wall tiles down if you want to get uh, dragons or some other stuff. Okay, now he's able to get demon spawns and perhaps, perhaps dragons. Okay, that's not enough gold. Just take your huge chunks. Yeah, good. And now he can have dragons. Meanwhile, Spet is banking on and those ball demons okay both players trying to get his tension up quickly or their tensions up quickly and jake is training his trash which i personally don't like but they can cross lava so you can do something with them but that also means that uh spat would need to open his tension but he is quite quite a late back um keeper so he doesn't open his dungeon un unless he deems it to be necessary and jake also just got his first uh ball demon which means we can have a good hunt for for uh walkers here uh spat just got his first dragon as well two beetles two um spiders which means he can get his mistress is quite early and Jake got a second ball demon so we have quite equal army strengths here and Jake even utilizing his trash and his warlocks to train uh, to research a little bit faster which is nice to see Jake also utilizing possession to quicker, uh, quicker get access towards the portal and Spat just noticed that Jake is getting the portal. I don't know what much you read into that beside of he is expanding and is able to to get out of his comfort zone or home dungeon, I guess. But I really like that Spat is training his uh, warlocks right there. Jake now increasing his uh, training room. Which is quite nice, so he can train whatever he wants. Spat now scouting um, the layer, just so two wool looks uh, from Jake here. And Jake also now going for the, the gem. Many people missed that because there's so much gold on this map, you do not really need uh, to mine the gem unless it, we are going for a late game or we are going for a ton of workers. Okay, I see. We might see that, yeah, Jake, does he want to, to scout with his dragon? We don't know. I think it would be better if he used his uh, demon spawn to scout so his dragon can continue uh, training. He also increases his library, 
So it's actually a good idea if you want to split up. Don't throw away. No, shake, don't. Oh, come on, dude. No mistresses or high level mistresses early for shake here, but he wants no trolls. Okay. Either way, Spet in the meantime is trying to expand a little bit and then um, going for, for an opening closer towards uh, Shake's side, towards the middle. I really, not, not really, but I kind of like how Spat is uh, planning his tension. It has quite some curves, which uh, gives him quite some time to react and notice any intruders here. Training all three essential uh, creatures here, like Warlocks, uh, Baal Demon and Dragons, uh, which is a good mid-game army. But no training on those beetles as well as those spiders. Which would be good for an early mistress. Okay, Spet is now getting an archer. Archers are really good if you possess them. Um, because that homing missile can deal a ton of damage. It's like if around 50% more damage right, like the regular one. But it's just so for, uh, for keeper effects in... The vanilla game, it's even stronger and you can spam it even faster. I think the homing missile you can spam like 7 or 9 times per second and in the original, I don't know. It's unlimited. But spat great scouting with uh, that fly and even going now inside this dungeon. Um, I feel, yeah, it's kind of good. Good possibility to just scout, distracting and aggro the, uh, some of this creature. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jake, good save on, uh, on not dealing that much damage to your own dragons, but those are dragons. Oh, even force feeding those uh, creatures and really well fight by Jake. I haven't expected that. Okay, Jake now um, using the uh, those two beetles. To, to research and even his trash, perfect. And now Spat is maxed with uh, 17 creatures and that's really good actually. It really buffs your, um, your training room and your library. So making safe is actually quite good, even though it can be ignored. And Spat I think is now going for the offensive, which is quite a good call because he has seen what Shake uh, has to offer and can even see his army here but Jake is also not too uh, too bad nice even uh, was able to steal that archer here now speeding up those creatures really well played by uh, Spat that's one of the highest level um, matches we have seen so far beside of Jack really just getting rid of his beetles I don't like that, but it seems it will be a mid-game match anyways. Oh, uh, Jake is now selling everything. I don't know why. It just makes it less secure. Otherwise, you could just incrementally sell uh, that stuff. Spat is now going for the middle. I don't think both players aren't aware that the uh, three or the two level three are uh, bloody imps in the middle and Jake now getting a room for his mistress uh, his mistress so <laughs> and Spat even trying to to steal it so just to use it so his opponent doesn't get the advantage of getting dude that bloody imp should just uh, claim that ground good control here by Spat even fools claiming everything here that's actually really good I think he is just limited by his own um, click speed otherwise really well played uh, he would need or Jake would need to uh, drop his ball demons exactly there and I think will yeah <laughs> okay because that uh, position is so unlucky um, Jake was forced to to get rid of uh, his torture room here and now he is quite cumbered with... Okay, I think he wants to zoom out a little bit further. Okay. Um, but doesn't utilize it. But still, good play here by, by Jake. 
he could use uh oh nice now come on get rid of your trash perfect okay just getting rid of one of his trash units but he got back to to his um portal so he was able to no spec what are you doing no no okay uh huge mistake huge mistake by spec even bigger mistake what Jack is doing because Ch uh, Jake is is still keeping his uh, spiders and they can help um, preventing that the possession. I'm quite baffled to be honest. They were playing so well, and now Spet just say, "Hey, I can have mistresses at level one, so why should I get mistresses le at level three or four? I have no clue." Oh, that hurts to see. Jake, though, has a level 1 mistress here, and she will train soon. That really hurts. That, that made me quite uncomfortable. But either way, the match has to go on, and Jake is now going for the offensive. I just want to claim it with one M. I don't know why a uh, player... Play do that like you can have more points at the, the bridge and then just claim more but when you sell it your room will uh, completely reach and and spat is on top of it i don't know why they like to sell everything here and spat pretty much just allow jake to to just go further and you can't okay good uh kill on that on those two workers actually and now we have a uh, with a ball demon fight but okay that would have been actually quite good for uh for spat here to waste a lot of training time on on jake's um ball demons but spat had a level five uh ball demon which was really good here and Jake just pre-dropping some some ball demons. I don't know why he does that, because Jake will sell it, not drop, uh, and try to counter claim. But we might see that uh, Jake is claiming that bridge anytime soon. Come on, don't, don't. And now because of that horn, Jake will just sell it. And yeah, you pretty much blew your co cover, Jake here. It's such a shame, and you should claim those those tiles which um which spat already has near your ground because now spat can just claim this uh this area here and pretty much uh get rid of yeah of your bridge and and also expand on your island like that's quite a mistake here and what jake sees is that he thinks Spat is all over the middle side because those walls are reinforced in quite an odd shape so there shouldn't be a room just uh, Spat wasting some time so that's my guess why he is engaging but killing off quite some workers just a level 3 mistress won't help him uh, much here and Spat ha just having 2 orcs here I, I mean I'm not a fan of it and Good call by by uh, Spat by not responding too much. Just uh, let Jake waste a ton of time casting that cave in. Really good play. Though uh, Jake is now force claiming that world, which Spat will uh, try to prevent with. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's actually a huge. He burns through a little bit of gold. But he has uh, 40k and he can deal so much damage. That means uh, on a blob fight, Spat will most likely win this one. And especially because there are no mistresses which can help him. And Jake is losing almost those creatures. That was so close. He managed to... Jake managed to burn through 20k of uh, Spat. But uh, Spat should go for the offensive now because he knows that uh jake's army is quite uh quite damaged and that's the perfect opportunity and he still has a foothold on on the island he can just go in but he decides to mine gold and 
yeah, to get some gold back because 20k gold is quite a hefty sum. But Jake keeps on the pressure to defend his dungeon, which is a really good call here. And good save here. I really don't like that uh, Spat is using uh, so much of his lightning. But good for Jake. He is on the offensive and just for the offensive of sake to be um yeah to keep a uh, spat away from his own dungeon and now uh Paul's claiming the bridge which takes a while but it seems like jake isn't even aware of it and spat will actually claim that bridge now okay now uh the table has turned and spat is again once more on the offensive Ooh. No, don't. Dude, you waste so much gold. Just go on the offensive. That worker couldn't do anything else. It was just there to die. But either way, I think Spat is now trying to to make another opening. <laughs> okay, some free damage uh, towards uh, that imp. But that imp is scouting here with speed. It's uh, unable to pretty much get killed here. Just scouting this area. Okay, has seen the um, the area and the gem of Jake, which means Spat can uh, set those imps of Jake to prevent him to get some more gold, which means Jake is really low on gold. So, but Spat is wasting too much gold here. I think does does have Jake some cheap imps already? I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, Spat is now uh, sniping some some warlocks, which is worthwhile. And even that mistress, Jake, please. Okay, mistress is gone. Okay, the favors are in uh, Spat again. I am not aware that uh, that Spat has a mistress, but it's very well possible by now. And I think both pe uh, players have quite expensive imps still. They haven't sacrificed that many imps yet. But we do have uh, some sort of bridge fight. And, and come on, Spat, you don't. <laughs> Why? Why do you hate gold? You're down to, down to uh, almost 10k gold. Not even. Oh, that hurts. He had 40k gold. He could have sniped so many creatures with, with the scout. And. Great call by Spet, just in time, selling that bridge. Yo, if I would Spet, I would now try to, to burn through the gold of Jake here. And trying to kill as many workers. <laughs> uh, Jake just uh, swiveling around to, to force claim this bridge and avoid most damage, but yeah. Those Baal Demons have an AoE and that's that can't be avoided, especially when you're just trying to force claim on a one tile. Oh, Spat though quite well. Okay, we have a possession battle, no? A level one Wulok. Okay, Jake is now completely dry. He has four imps and Jake needs to to force a reaction out of uh, out of spat, otherwise he he will lose. He has to play either offensive or defensive or mine some more bloody gold. I mean he's completely dry. The bit spat isn't doing doing too well as well, and still not sacrificing any imps. So those imps are expensive. Dude. But he Jake is really doing his best with possessing that MP. Oh. Jake having a hard time to get some gold. Good save here, good save here. You don't need to sell that many uh bridge tiles, just a few. Now Jake is finally uh, getting rid of a spat's uh beach side near the home. Uh, home dungeon of of uh, Jake. Uh, 
so many so many spiders i feel like it's a little bit too many but uh, yeah both players do not like to use sacrifices here and Jake getting rid of his trash which is okay he should get oh he already has uh, a 3x3 three three torture room but at least we don't see a surrender by Jake so Jake is still holding on he should mine more gold in the middle island and perhaps try to to get an encounter here because that uh, bridge fight doesn't seem to be um, very lucrative for for Spender. <laughs> he spent so much gold on this aim. Oh god, fucking damn it! Okay, time isn't waiting. You lose that that buff on the dim, and yeah, two those aims are too expensive right now. He needs at least at least six aims to fully occupy this this gem here. Okay, time is running out. Okay, now Spat is turning quite evil here. Sniping those imps, it's the right call. And he also has uh, 10k gold in the bank. And I think he just wants to set... No, he even doesn't want to. Spat just got a level 1 mistress really late. Quite unlucky here. And I think he wants to snipe off some ball demons. It's not worth it. No, those level one warlocks are worthless. Yeah, just snipe some some ball demons. Good multi-target hit here. Uh, but one lightning spell doesn't do shit. You need to to cast at least three to four to kill one. Okay, just getting uh, prevent those creatures from sleeping and do a little bit. Uh, yeah, of damage, but not worth it. Those ball demons are far too tanky. Shake now really trying to to hold on. He his focus now should be having a temple and getting cheap imps, because then uh, Shake can bait a uh, spat to burn through his gold, because both players uh, they don't have a clue how to breach yet, even though. Yeah, okay, no, it's a, a mid-game match. Both players have quite a good mid-game army. But uh, Spat do have more gold. And he also has more... Uh, also has a mistress. Yeah. But I like that Spat is uh, a little bit more careful about his gold right now. Slowly going up to... 2k but those imps are so expensive please just sacrifice some imps <laughs> uh, just some some shenanigans going here from Jake okay Jake trying his best to be on the offensive again and uh, trying to claim this ground he can turn it invisible and Spat is just preventing those imps uh, from claiming something I think Jake just want to get some gold back here. And perhaps baiting some. Okay, now uh, he wants to force a reaction out of Spat. And I'm not too sure if Spat actually um, responds to... Oh, we now see a plague being cast. That hurts, that really hurts. It somewhat forces Jake to, to go in. And he doesn't have a temple and... Man, Spat is just using gold to get uh, rid of those, those units. Okay, but now it's the time to, to attack. Okay, uh, they're still stinky. Okay, <laughs> and Jake is really holding on to this one tile here, which is good. Uh, is there a drop micro? I... Oh, he want to just range attack those to have free damage and also to to get rid of those imps. That's actually really well played by, by Jake. 
just killing off those imps and perhaps also getting a foothold here, a bigger foothold. But it also makes it easy for, for Spat to just zap them. But good save by Jake, it's really... Some portions of this match is really proficient and some are like... I don't know. But both players uh, lack the killer instinct, which Spat had multiple opportunities to just go in and finish off Jake. And Jake is still doing a great job at just... Oh, he's killing... That save, that save, goddamn. Great save. And Jake, uh, not Jake, uh, Spat should check the hatchery to save or to really finish off this um this bar demon but now all creatures are infected pretty much here and he needs a temple he really needs a temple right now okay jake managed to to save his his bar demon here but it's so hard to to do anything and do we have stinky dragons? No. And no stinky... Though, uh, this virgin is a stinky virgin. Okay, now we have a dragon on dragon fight, which means there won't be any progress. Jake really should commit to, to the disengagement. Okay, I'm not too sure. Oh, he just wants to, to have... <laughs> Arrange that. Come on, no, don't. Okay, uh. Okay, I'm. Why do you want to connect everything? Like, he's playing Connect 4. Okay, most of his, uh, Baal Demons are secured with. Uh, from the play. But now we have Stinky Mistresses, Stinky Spider. Oh, okay. <laughs> And still, and still cave in. Okay, Jake is spreading uh, his butt cheeks here. And yeah, but Spat is slowly running out of gold. Like there's no gold on this um, map left beside of two gold tiles. And that's pretty much it. So both players are just running on, on uh, <laughs> Yeah, some, some eco-friendly stuff. Oh, Jake just found some neutral gold he could could snatch. But to get towards that gold means he has to, to use his own gold. And I'm not too sure if he feels fancy doing so. I haven't seen which level this mistress was, but it wasn't level 6, That's that's for sure. Oh, Spat trying to get uh, some units in the workshop to get uh, some more gold. Because he then can def uh, sell his defenses and defenses are... Yeah, you produce them out of nothing. And Spat wasting the last piece of gold he has on killing some workers. Which is a good idea. But it hurts kind quite a bit. Okay, both players not having any gold left to do anything else. Both have to rely on cheap imps and and that gem. But I think Jake can't see the gem of Spat, so Spat has a better position because he has scouted earlier. And Jake is now going into the middle. And we see some reaction and Spat wasting so much gold with this lightning. Lightning is so expensive, you shouldn't use it for for bloody imps unless uh, they are at the, uh, the gem, yeah. But you have to expect that your opponent is at the temple at such a stage, especially when you're uh, at your temple as well. <laughs> that mistress just want to, to torture herself just to get a bit out of enjoyment when she's stinky. Yeah. Okay, we still don't know uh, what level that Mistress of uh, Spat is. But we see that Armageddon is able uh, 
is able that he can get some. I'm really not too sure. Oh, he he might use Jake is using possession now. Um, I don't know why he uses the spell demon, but this okay. Jake is now force claiming uh, the hatchery, but is kind of scared. And Jake still is see um, spec sees that Jake's units are still uh, still stinky. And finally, Jake is scouting out everything. Uh, why do you attack the dungeon heart? You can't kill it. There's a lot of Parch Mistress uh, of Spat, so Spat is close to having uh, <laughs> the wing condition met. And Jake was able to, to secure the middle. <laughs> no, why do you sell it? Come on, just be more aggressive. And get a bloody temple to get rid of this plague. It hurts your creatures all the time so much. It wastes so much time to not train. I mean, yeah, you can get some gold when they are just in the layer. I'm not sure if Jake does even know that he can get rid of this plague spell. I guess his main strat now revolves. <laughs> oh, we have a chicken spell. Cast it. Was it? So a stinky chicken ball demon. I think we won't see that ever again. He needs a temple. He needs a temple. Come on, dude. And now Spet even sold the torture room of Jake. Oh. Jake had so many opportunities to, to force a reaction and and do some damage. And Jake is just now watching those creatures train and stuff. <laughs> Spat even placing an offensive magical door. Dude, that's evil. And loads of traps. That's evil, man. That's evil. Okay. I mean, Jake could just go from a different route, but the spat is already in within two entrances, <clears throat> and one is heavily protected. But he ignores his top, his top part. Okay, now Jake is just surrendering and offer him a fast uh, walkway towards his dungeon, and he just threw away all his creatures. I think he just surrendered uh, and at least give him a free free win. I mean, yeah, Spat had a level 6 mistress which Jake saw. And but at least I would have fought a little bit, not just get rid of everything. Spat, I think does he realize that yeah, he now does realize that he can just drop it, everything, uh, everything here. Wow, even having a level 9 orc. Okay. But Jake, with good uh, sportsmanship, offers his heart to, to Spat here. And Spat tries to make it quick to speed everything up. And yeah. Chi Chi got called. <laughs> And was an easier sign for Jake here. Even though Jake played quite well. Not gonna lie. And the dungeon heart is soon be gone. Chi Chi to both players. And that's pretty much it. Then let's go to match two. Keep up. 